Let me just introduce Berkeley's first alumnus from Africa, the founder of Ethio Jazz, and a deeply intelligent musician, Mr. Milatu Astatke. Thank you so much, President Roger. Um, I'd like to give you um, a little bit taste of our language. So um, I say, but I'm, I'm a Saginalo. Um, I'm born in total Africa. The Mohonu, the Nebichas, I'm a little bit Now, the style number, this is how our language sounds. Thank you. Now I go to my speeches. <laughs> Thank you so much. When I was um, actually invited to present this speech, I thought, man, I'm a musician. I make music, not the speeches. <laughs> but then I thought this is a special speech, a speech for Berkeley School of Music, commencement class of 2012. Wow, what an honor this is. It's been selected as the voice that ushers you into the prestigious alum and the wider international fertility of music. What a great duty to also receive you into this family, which I have been part for over 50 years. I'm from Ethiopia a country far away from Boston in both space, times, and thoughts, yet we have connected through music. I was born in 1943 in the city of Jima, where, like many of you, began my love for music at a younger age. And like many of you, there was plans for me to do something else, because music was not a real or a noble profession. I was a good student and was decided and declared that I would study aeronautical engineering. But when I was 15 years old, I was offered an opportunity to study in the United Kingdom. And during my time, I was a teacher, realized my talent, my passion for music and encouraged me to study various instruments from the clarinet to the keyboard. After high school, I attended a Trinity College where music became the center of my life. Gigs in London nightclubs and hanging out with jazz great like Ronnie Scott and Frank Holder kept me close to the growing music scene. I also spent a lot of time with musicians from West Africa who encouraged me to play and promote my own Ethiopian music. It was a fascinating time filled with positive and creative energy that inspired me to branch out. By 57, I began to hear about the Schillinger House of Music in Boston, now known as Berkeley College of Music entered in 1958, the only place in the world to study jazz. I had to be there. I was here as Berkeley immersed in motivating and creative academic environment that my brand, Ethio Jazz, was conceived. The radical music scene of the 60s in the USA was fertile ground to grow a sound that was rising up inside of me. Childhood sounds from the sherbet fruits mixed with asmaris, mazinkos, and Ethiopian melodies with 12 note harmonies combined with Western instrument mixed the musical laboratory of my mind to give birth to Ethio jazz. I shared my sound through the Ethiopian quintet, my New York based band. Most of the musicians were from Puerto Rico, so this Afro-Latin flavor added yet 
another dimension to my music. But Africa always remains the root. I remember meeting John Coltrane, who also encouraged me. That was really what an honor. I returned home to Ethiopia in the late 60s to develop and promote the sound, the music scene with vibrant in Addis Ababa, the capital city, and I was brought home a hammer organ, a vibraphone, and began to transform, to transform all the Ethiopian contemporary music. I merged Ethiopian five-tone scales with jazz and fusion, and the people loved that groove. This song, however, was a gift, a magnification of experience, my exposure to sounds and sights from when I was a young child in Ethiopia to my childhood traveling. The world had become a treasure recognized and enjoyed worldwide. I take a pride in sharing this gift with the world and remain ever humble and thankful for the opportunities that made this possible, including my Berkeley experience. You too have this experience, and this is a special gift. Today is your day, and I'm here to share my journey with you as the source of inspiration and motivation. I am also here as a proof of the power of music and how blessed and like we all are to be part of this fraternity. This place, however, brings a major responsibility. You now have the skills, the education, to create new innovations in music, including in business, intellectual property, or new musical hybrids. We have a responsibility. As the world goes through so many transitions, Music remains an important and constant component of our social and cultural landscape. This is especially true in developing nations where the preservation, protection, and promotion of indigenous music and the civilization of innovative sound is critical to the continued artistic growth and development of Ethiopia and general in Africa. Billions of children in Africa have no formal exposure to music. This lack of resources make music the less than a priority on their curriculum. Berkeley has tried to develop a bridge a gap by giving scholarship to African students for the past several decades. President Rogers deserves to be recognized by Africa for his commitment and valuable contribution to the development of African musicians. These scholarships have opened many doors for these opportunities for Africa. Like me, I'm a living testament to the result of this opportunity. I want this opportunity for all African children. I have established, established jazz clubs, schools, radio shows, guest lecturer. I've uh, collaborated with MIT to develop the Ethiopian instrument we call the CLAR. Even so, I have a very busy touring and recording schedule, but I'm motivated to do all this and more because I want to do my part to not only bring my music to the world, but to bring awareness about the importance of music education. When you live here today, and after the reality of graduation sets in, after the hangovers wear off, and you begin to ask yourself, what next? I encourage think out of the box. Think of Ethiopia and other developing nations who can benefit from your talent. Think of how this wealthy and prestigious equation, education can help other tomorrow. Think of what your legacy in music industry and fertility can be. 
think original and innovative thoughts that can transform the world in years to come. This is what I did, and I was encouraged by teachers at Berkeley to be myself and never give up, and I share this world likewise with you. You know too, you know too well, hard work is took for you to make it here today. You know the hours, the months, and the years, the sacrifice you and many of your families have made to see today become a reality, and we all are proud of you. Keep in mind, however, that you are selected few with a special gift, and we have a great expectation from you. Welcome to the alumni of Berkeley. Welcome to the worldwide fraternity of music, and welcome to the next league in your journey with music. May your journey be blessed, and may you share your blessing with the world through your music and other contribution. May you continue to grow and give back to Berkeley and all those you have helped you to reach here today. Welcome to the journey of lifetime. America is a land of opportunity. Let's love each other. Thanks so much.